Good morning guys, it's a new day, day 18 of Vlogmas, wow, there's only like a week left basically you guys, that's really really crazy. I woke up feeling great, ready, but first things first, I want to do my red LED light therapy, so even before coffee, because if I make a coffee now and then I put a mask on and I can't drink it, it will annoy me, so let's enjoy first the LED mask. I don't know if you guys can see me, but basically I do this every morning, every Every single morning, it's hard to do with one hand, you know? And I think this is a big... I do this every single day, every morning. I like to start my day with this. And I think this really, really makes a big difference. So let's just meditate for 20 minutes. Okay, guys, what have you missed? Not really that much, besides that I got dressed. I'm wearing this Karen Millen beautiful cashmere. Kind of like a polo knit. I don't know if you can see it. The point is that I actually only kind of recently rediscovered the brand, considering that I did wear the brand for like my graduation and things like that and this is not sponsored by the way but I really wanted to say how many kind of great things that I found were like very very staples classic pieces forever pieces that actually are also made of good materials and that I think are really great prices like this really looks I think like my Kate cashmere polo but for a fraction of price anyway I'm gonna do my skincare while I'm talking to you guys so I just bought like a few products here this morning I need to do my makeup I need to get ready I need to do all of that stuff but we have like a busy day today we have a lot of things to shoot however I wanted to chit chat to you while I do it I also of course am basically having my first morning coffee with you guys because of course very good i need to pack today besides shooting and doing all of that other stuff and you know what i realized that i maybe don't have a jacket that i need for one of the looks this is by the way a toner it's for the evening routine but i have my skin is on the drier side so i just want to give it especially during the winter months more care and this is the supremia from sisley the night skincare lotion and i quite like it how it also is as a base for the rest of my routine you know important stuff right i'll link all the products that I show you guys below so that you don't have to think about it. I'm not gonna do like a ton. I wish I could have like a makeup free day, but like I told you, we have like lots of things to shoot. My team's coming soon. And then I also like this evening around five, I'm going for a nail appointment and stuff like that. You know, we might go a little bit for a stroll in town. I'll see if I'll have lunch with Filippo in town. Depends on how well I'm doing with schedule. Now I'm gonna use this vitamin C serum. It's actually from Oskia, but it's in like different little capsules because actually vitamin C doesn't have such a long longevity especially when exposed to daylight and um, so it's best when it's in these individual capsules I don't know if you guys know that and normally I apply this at night again but I really like the glow below the foundation that it gives me and once I'm done with skincare what I'll do is I'll wait a little bit for it all to sink in and then I will go in with SPF before I actually do my makeup routine also I like these capsules because look they are shaped it's a little heart. So what did I want to tell you? You know, this morning I was thinking, I'm sure that many of you who watch me are single, right? And you know what I was thinking as well? That sometimes like when you watch people on YouTube and you especially watch people who are in happy relationships and things, it can seem a little bit lonely and isolated if you are single. And I just wanted to remind you as your girl that I too was once single girl and I completely get it you guys like honestly i think also especially around christmas time this time of the year season of like you know falling in love and like receiving christmas gifts these are my by the way serums for lash and brows you know everybody is like coupled up going to the christmas markets it can feel so lonely and annoying if you're not even dating but also it can feel very annoying if you're badly dating so i wanted to tell you which is what i promised in one of my recent videos and then you guys were all saying like yes tell us tell us tell us i wanted to tell you about some of my bad dates stories because i think maybe you guys will then also be able to understand that it's not like oh i have this beautiful relationship which i think is really beautiful and i think that Lipa and i have a lot of trust a lot of love a lot of laughter together but guys not only did we worked a lot on it but also before filippo i really did kiss some nasty frogs or not really kiss always but you know what i mean i dated and <sighs> May I just say, wow. So I wanted to tell you some of the bad dates that I have. Not too many because, I mean, then it's going to turn into a bit of a joke. Let's say, you know the one that I wanted to tell you when we were in Brighton together? It was, we were passing this one bar and I was saying, okay, I'll tell you about one of the really bad dates that I had, okay? And you guys said, yes, 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 tell the story. At first I was saying, like, I feel kind of bad because, like, I don't want to be that person, right? So this one was with a guy that really wanted to take me out on a date for, like, two years from university, but he wasn't studying my course. 
he was just like at my university and he really really was like insisting and insisting and insisting and I was always making excuses and I was single for so long that my sister said one day like listen Tamara I think like you should give him a chance because you know what what have you got to lose like you're single you know there's nothing really going on just go on one day the guy's a nice guy so he wasn't my type at all I thought he was too keen I just I wasn't into it but I was like okay let's give him a chance right so we meet up in town and he told me like you know I have a special surprise for you and I was like oh, I mean I hope you do because for two years you've been trying to take me out so right but okay I'm like oh my god what's the surprise and he said uh, I'm taking you to a place tonight where it's two for one drinks like you pay one drink but you get two drinks so I was like this is not very attractive no problem like no problem if you were like really taking me to a place where you can not afford it and I completely get it we're students you know whatever I'm in the same situation but you don't need to brag about it like you should hide it no because you know I want to feel like you really care about me and like you really are okay with paying that one drink so he's like yeah yeah it's two for one drinks and I'm like ah, okay that's interesting also I, I'm not really a big drinker so I'm like whatever and then we get there and he's like I have another surprise for you and I'm like okay go on and he's like the place where we're going my really good friend works there this is the La Mer cream by the way it's just a tiny little pot he's like my friend works there so we're gonna get 50 percent off on our two for one drinks and at this point i'm like i just feel really like don't tell me right don't tell me but anyway we order all together two cocktails each that night and i'm just whole night thinking why am i even here because honestly he was just talking about himself the whole night and mostly telling me how he is getting drunk here and getting drunk there you know like student life same classic stuff but i was just not impressed and then at the end of the night he's like so cocktails were like eight pounds each back at the time right so it was two for one we had four cocktails and we had 50 percent off so the total bill for these four cocktails were eight grand pounds the bill comes i'm like already so happy i'm going home and he's like so looks at me and he's like four pound each that's when i was just like okay listen i'm all up for equality it's all fine but at that point i just felt like i was just no this was not even a date this was like supposed to be like a drinking buddies situation so anyway i said to him nah i'll take the bill and he was like what are you sure i was like yeah, yeah i'll take the bill i really wanted to take the bill because because honestly, in all honesty, I was actually embarrassed to split. So I just wanted to pay for the whole bill. So I paid the grand total of eight pounds. And he said, oh my God, thank you so much. I'll pay the next time. Honey, the next time where? I think he got the message. He, you know, I was like not very impressed at all. So that was one of the, that was the bad date that I showed you the place where I had it that time. This is by the way, the cuticle oil. I love, this is by Hermes and I really, really like it. I'm getting my nails done today. As you can see, they have a bit of growth, right? But I just want to make sure that I already prep my cuticles and that they're nice and moisturized. I love to give myself that whole love and attention that we all deserve. So the other bad date that I think was more like bad person kind of date was with this guy that was kind of like a hot in Brighton and like lots of girls really fancied him and whatever and he added me on Facebook so we started talking and whatnot and he was like this kind of cool guy you know like even the way he was talking was like cool like kind of almost like laughing at you whatever you say like who says that like lol and stuff like that and I was like whatever a bit rude very tall kind of handsome and anyway he basically asked me out and I fancied him a little bit but I also hated him a little bit because you know like it was one of these like rude guys you know what I mean and I was uni like maybe second year or first year I don't know so he basically asked me out and I I really was like I don't want this guy to try to kiss me I don't want to be with him like I just want to like get to know him a little bit so I texted him saying like listen sure let's go out but I just want to make it very clear as friends I want to get to know you I don't know you I only saw him like in a club three times you know I used to go out to this club Google every weekend so I said okay no problem we'll go out I want to get to know you we need to be just you know like on the same page please don't try anything he was like of course who do you think you are why would i try anything with you i don't even fancy you like goodbye so i was like okay before going out with him i went out for dinner with my sister and her at the time boyfriend or fiance i can't remember if they were already engaged and i said to them we went to italian and i said i'm just gonna eat a lot of garlic so i had like garlic bread and garlic this and garlic that because i was like i don't want this guy to try to kiss me okay i want to see if i like him like his personality because honestly via text message and in like what i saw in club he was so full of himself that i was like i'm not gonna like him long story short we go on a date there's nothing to talk about we went for a drink at picture and piano which is like a bar in brighton there's nothing 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 i was like oh my god wow so at one point i kind of tried to 
I felt like, first of all, I was more intelligent than him, which was already a big turn off for me. I felt like he was quite dumb and very handsome, but very like trying to impress me and it was just not working. So at one point I'm like, okay, so well, I don't know what to ask you, honestly, because there's really nothing here. I mean, the only thing I can ask you, are you a cat or a dog person? And he was like, that's the only thing I can remember from the date. And he told me like, what kind of stupid question is that? Who asks, are you a cat or a dog person? Like, what is this, a quiz? And I was like, no, I'm just trying to say there's not really much to talk about, you know? So whatever, I kind of laughed it off. So he said, I'll drive you home. He drove me home, you know, we had an agreement, like no kisses, no nothing, blah, blah, blah. He drove me home and he got out. He's like, oh, I'll open the door for you. I was like, that's kind of strange. And as he opens the door for me, he tried to kiss me. And I was like, what? It's like I moved out. First of all, I didn't like him even a little bit. Second of all, I like really tried everything I possibly could to prevent this awkward situation from happening. And third of all, I, I didn't like him again. Like, hello. So the guy is like, what? Like, you don't want to kiss me? And I was like, no. Like, I mean, we agree that this is just us getting to know each other. So he's like, ah, okay, whatever. You're trying to act like you're too cool. So I go home. I'm like, weird, but I actually felt a bit bad. You know, I was like, I didn't want to reject him. That's why I told him don't try to kiss me. You know what I mean? So why did I feel bad? God knows anyway, like my people pleasing crazy, you know. So I get home. And this was the time I remember I had a Samsung phone that flips out, like a very thin and pink one. And I started receiving messages. And it was back in the day when SMS would start incoming, like one out of six, two out of six, you know, in like parts. So I start, I get a message from him and it says one out of six. And I remember like it was yesterday, it was 5th of November, because in, on 5th of November, there are like big fireworks in England. And I was on the balcony, like watching the fireworks and I started getting these messages. And it was just him insulting me in six messages because I didn't want to kiss him. It was like, you have a problem. There's something wrong with you. If you don't want to like kiss me for sure, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, long story short, I obviously was like good, I didn't even respond to these messages because I was like, this guy's a loser. And after a while, after like six months, he wrote me a song and he recorded it and he played it on Facebook. I still never talk to him again because I was like, goodbye. So yeah, those are my two little bad date stories for you guys for this early Vlogmas 18 morning because in case you are single and dating and going through dating hell, just know your girl was there, you know? At the end, it works out. If it didn't work out yet, it means it's not the end. So just don't lose faith. Don't settle for something that is like really, you know, not your vibe. So now that I'm all glowy and hydrated, I'm gonna wait for this to sink in a little bit and I'm gonna do my makeup, I guess, and drink my coffee. Guys, <clears throat> what's with my voice? Okay, we went from <laughs> me sitting on the floor telling you a story about my bad dates to full house, like literally full house. We have architects are here, my team's here. I, as you guys can see, I did my kind of classic usual makeup every day. I just ate like a croissant, so I didn't do my lips because I was like, what's the point? So I'll do my lip makeup now too. And then we're gonna start shooting. I have like several different things on our to-do list that we want to shoot. You know, one thing at a time. I I think that's like a nice approach when I feel a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of things to do. It's always one thing at a time. And then what is my mission for the day is to really, really try and clear out. I have a lot of stuff here. What makes things messy is that I obviously receive all these like samples and looks. So I have like the Miu Miu look. I have the Gucci look here that I want to pack up and possibly return today. That would be great because keeping it longer is just like staying here, which is an ideal. Also here, I'm preparing some of the stuff that I want to bring to the mountains. So we we have these Chanel coconut sunglasses that if you follow my TikTok, you would have seen me unbox them. I also have similar, but not the same in black. These are kind of more rounded, so they go like all the way like this. And then we have these coconut from last coconut. They're so freaking cool. But in today's video, I'm actually going to show you all the things that I got for the mountains. So stay tuned. Guys, so long story short, we're going to mountains tomorrow after my dentist cannot freaking King wait but first things first i really don't have anything for skiing well not anything i have two salopettes as you guys know i have a few little things but i don't really have goggles i don't have a few little bits and bobs that i would love for my cozy chalet kind of vibe you know looks and i had it straight to my Theresa, of course where else because they have an insane selection of everything that your girls needs i unpacked everything so it's all around me and i'm looking at it and it's literally everything here on one pile it's screaming screaming i'm 
amazing winter holidays, okay? They also had such incredible selection of party dresses, of beautiful accessories, of gifts for Christmas. I have to say I'm totally besotted with their selection. Always most incredible buy. We've discussed this before. Nothing new for you guys. Nothing new for me. So I just wanted to start from somewhere. So here we go. The iconic, beautiful yellow box. I've already opened it because I wanted to see. And first of all, I ordered something completely unrelated to what I'm going to share. But then you guys will understand. Okay, then you will understand everything. First thing that I ordered is more for party season. And it's my favorite Magda Boutron blazer that I already have in black, but in white. So every time Filippo and I go out, he tells me that I'm basically wearing this blazer. <sighs> That's you know, not really quite fair, but it is kind of true. I just love that it has boxy shoulders and it's kind of cropped. So when I'm wearing it with high waist and stuff, it really, really, really works. Also because I have a lot of long blazers, but I don't have enough of these kind of tuxedo crop blazers. So I decided to get in white color, especially because I want to wear it with my, do you know this like white Magda Boutron top with like a rose? I will also link it below because I think that's like such a perfect, more casual, but beautiful holiday look with high waisted trousers or jeans. And I think I could wear that in the mountains as well if because I don't want to wear like really like a short little mini dress when I go to mountains. I would rather wear like more of a cool outfits like Saint Laurent jeans and tops and like cool blazers or like knits and blazers and things like that. So this is something that I really, really loved for a while now and I really had to get. The second thing that I got, and Philippe already told me he liked this when we were with Saint Laurent in Paris, but I said it's already in my My Theresa basket. So I had to get it. It's like a beautiful, soft, oh, gray kind of of quarter sleeves full length dress now this with like a beautiful belt blazer or no blazer midi kind of sized heel is my ideal look for let's say dinner at a hotel in the mountains or something like that overall i really 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 love it and i think i will definitely pack it with me because i just think it's going to be such an easy thing to style throughout winter and also because like you know because it's like long dress is perfect when you want to be dressed up but not too dressed up does that make sense it does in my head so just you know go along with it so i told you guys i don't have a pair of goggles for skiing and i really wanted a pair so i decided to get the most the hottest pair there is these are so cool should we try them on let's okay it's a one size fit all because it's adjustable at the back they have like these studs all around and they're very comfortable on the face that i can confirm because i used to have some goggles that are not always very comfortable and now i feel like virtual reality and also they see celine I, I don't know if you can tell but they do say celine around on my three so they have them actually in several different colors they have so much like ski equipment as well i don't know i know my like american like chic audience goes to aspen and like obviously us in europe we go to french and italian alps and also obviously in spain there's mountains like there's all over actually mountains austria let's not forget so if you go skiing i think these goggles are like the upper ski kind of accessory even if you don't want to wear them you can put them on your helmet which i hope you're wearing when you're skiing also what if i like they come with this really cute pouch so you can pack your goggles in until next winter when this one's over i think this is really beautiful i was contemplating getting the white ones as well but i don't think white glasses or goggles or anything like that suit me so that's that i didn't stop myself there though when it comes to celine glasses and i had to cave in i got these ones that are like all the tiktok rage right now or not just right now also before but these are the new shade i'll show you because i'm quite over gold in a way i mean not really but you know what i mean i do say things like this a lot i wanted to get these in silver look how beautiful are these sunglasses can we just discuss them they're from celine are they cool or what i love them i have so many sunglasses that i definitely someone even commented i definitely need help i agree nothing i can say about myself all i can tell you is that i'm dreaming about tomorrow when i'm finished at the dentist i sit in the car can put a pair of sunglasses on a beanie and we're heading to the mountain and i just think that sunglasses are so perfect when you don't want to do your makeup but you want to look put together like look this i just put it on my face and i feel like it upgraded my look right away love it plus they come with like a super cute little pouch that almost looks like a bag actually can we agree because it has like a long strap as well i really like these i think they're super cute so yeah what do you guys think you know i like my celine glasses and goggles and things like that and actually in this haul you will notice that i got a lot of like accessories which is quite unusual for me because i like to get mostly ready to wear and shoes right but in this haul i also got some other stuff <laughs> unexpected slightly like from kate my dear 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 kate i got just what i said now i'm sewing to silver so i got a pair of gold earrings 
But I'm just a girl that likes to contradict herself all the time with many different things. Shall we just try these on? So obviously I didn't put them in the right. Like I have a one more lobe piercing before, but I think these are in insane let me check on my phone i think these are gonna be the new bottega earring kind of hype obviously like i told you guys i need to put them in the front piercing as you can see i have an earring there already so i put them here but just imagine i think i should get them in silver as well because i really really love this style it's nothing like crazy also i love this stopper it's very unique i don't know if you can see but these are pretty fabulous they do come in silver as well i will link them both below in case you're a silver girly Okay, love it. So that's that. Also, the box is pretty cute. As you can see, you can keep them in the box, but I'm never gonna do that. I didn't stop myself there with the earrings, but I'll show you later. I wanna show you the ski gear that I got, kind of ski gear. I have, like I said, ski gear itself, but I wanted to get some stuff that I felt like will be essential for staying warm and cozy. So when you think about mountain wear, what do you think about? I think about cozy knits and they have so many cute Love cozy knits on my Teresa. But when I saw this one, I loved it because yes, it has this huge anagram in front, but it's not too in your face because it's white and white can you see how cute is this and it's like a chunky cable knit like almost like 3d vibes <laughs> love it i just would love this with like a shirt poking out denim kind of preppy kind of cute for me personally there are so many love knits that i like right now i need to stop myself there that wasn't necessarily my ski gear that was more like my cozy gear but i did get some stuff they have a lot of like stuff from perfect moment and i realized i need one like second skin body so perfect moment i got there were two different colors of this one i believe very very simple cotton full turtleneck size medium because i hate when i'm skiing and i'm uncomfortable it just has a star on the neckline and it's long sleeve this is not for looking beautiful and fancy but still if you want to take off your knit at upper ski you can because it looks cute but this is actually to go under the next thing which i'll show you which is so freaking cute guys look at this it's a ski and there's like a bit of a collar block moment because the sleeves are pink and the ski says in like red and black and it's a white so i can wear that over the body and i can wear it like with you know like just open the jacket when you go to upper ski if you're like hot if it's really sunny you just enjoy it with my celine sunglasses and this vibe and i really really like it it's like thick but not too thick it's kind of like thin thick does that make sense i don't know anyway it makes sense in my head again as a lot of things do but not to everybody apparently so i don't know what to tell you so for my ski not just ski but for my cozy cute a little let's be merry situation i also decided to get one more scarf and this one is in like basically look even goes with this what i'm wearing right now it's just like in all the colors that i wear it's again loewe anagram cashmere scarf it also has french can you see the french here we go really really cute now i know this is flying off the shelf it's the in one of their popular items currently on the website but i really 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 love it let's see if we can show it to you how cute look how cute also it's very smart so it doesn't have to be for the mountain it can be a beautiful christmas gift or it can be something that you know you want to wear like on a smart coat for work when you want to look cute it's very warm it's cashmere it's cute i really really love it and it's in all the neutral colors which i think is always quite important like I don't know what I was saying. There was some noise outside and I stopped filming. And now I have like no idea what I was talking about. I'm just looking at our Christmas tree and I realized that we literally put every single decoration that we got in advent calendars and gifts. And now it looks like, I want to say a Christmas tree because you know, when you look like a Christmas tree, it's not the best. Well, it looks like a Christmas tree. We got so many decorations in Louis Vuitton advent calendar where we need to open each and every one of them. So that being said, I really like, like I said, the selection of like cozy and cute bits and bobs. I want to show you something else that i think is so adorable so cozy and so cute you guys know how much i love kate cardigans this one definitely definitely takes the cake look at this it's so christmasy it's so cute it's like a thick cashmere and it has this very like a christmas jumper print i mean if this is not perfect for mountains i could wear this under my max mara teddy coat right and obviously they also have like an incredible selection of my Teresa of max mara teddies or in general of max mara stuff but i think this is so cute you guys i know i have my lower piano one but i think this one's great so there was also this is a cardigan so it has buttons alongside the middle and the little pockets here as well but actually there is a version which is not a cardigan it's just like a turtleneck it's sold out faster than you could say Kate, you know what I mean? It was like, bam, done. I was pretty impressed. Now, one thing that I could say of everything that I ordered is probably something that I don't need because everything else I need, but this thing I probably don't need, however I liked. 
are the pair of Magda Butram jeans. And the reason why I got them is because they're the same color as my matching corset. Now you guys will say, Tamara, you already have these jeans because yes, it's true. I have the same color jeans and a maxi skirt, but these are straight leg. The other ones are kind of like carrot. And these are straight leg, which I think is like really perfect, especially around winter time when you want to wear like boots under and you want them just to peek a little bit, but not to, you know, have any bare ankles or anything like that. So I really like these. I cannot wait to try them. And I think that these could go also well with this. So yeah, the boots that I could wear under. So I have a lot of boots, ankle boots especially, but like the only kind of ankle boots that I'm thinking that I could possibly wear to the snow that I have are Prada Monolith. I've had them for like now two or three years. They're in my wardrobe. I love them. They're perfection, okay? But they're a pair of boots that I've been wanting for many seasons now. And I just, I actually ordered them once in white color and then I ended up returning them because I was like, I don't think I'll wear them. White boots, I generally don't really tend to wear white boots. I don't know why. I have some kind of like aversion. Or even if I buy white boots, I never end up wearing them, okay? So I decided to get, you might be able to recognize the box because it says nothing. So it's for sure the row. And now you probably also know what pair of boots it is. I decided to get very classic black zip boots. Obviously, I don't know, is that an official name? Ah. Zip boots, I don't know. Anyway, look at this. So very, very classic zip in front. What I really love about them is the platform and they seem really sturdy, like not too slippery. But then I don't know, cause it's quite smooth at the bottom. I thought this would look really good under trousers, jeans. Like if you tuck things in or if you, if they're just poking out a little bit, I don't have a pair yet. So I thought now I have a perfect excuse to actually get a pair and that's what we did. Now I promise you I will show you another pair of earrings that I got and who would I be if they wouldn't come in a little black box. I was eyeing these again, again, again. I was eyeing these when we went to Paris. I'm packing these for sure when you go to mountains. Do you know why? Because if I don't want to dress up and I want to wear just like a chunky knit and I want to go down to dinner, but I want to add a touch of glam, I think these are perfect. Ow, ow, they're hurting my ear because I attached them to the other earring. I mean, seriously, why would you do that? Okay, that's much better. Obviously now there's a bit more space on the lobe because I had to avoid the earring, but I think this is really cute. And it adds that kind of glam. Let's remove, this is just like a classic ideal stud. I've been wearing these non-stop and let me try to make it all fabulous. So do you see what I mean? These add so much glam to any look, even like this with a knit, you immediately look so much more glamorous put together. Like I said, everything will be linked below. So if you guys want to get these, also very very, very nice if your budget allows a Christmas gift to yourself or to someone else. Also, they remind me of like a little dessert, right? Very vintage looking and these kind of earrings are now all the rage. They're not as heavy as I thought they would be, by the way, because definitely could be worse. Definitely. Where are we? I have like a few more ready to wear pieces. Not many. Honestly, like the roll is having me a like chokehold with the shoes and I'm actually embarrassed to show them to you because it's just not mountainy at all. But what is mountainy is a coat that I got that I think is really good price for what it is. It's a white, big white yeti coat. I don't know why I'm showing it to you. You will see it when I try it on. But look how cute this is for the mountain, right? I really love it. Really, really love it. But maybe we should just keep one white coat because I got another white coat. And the truth is I don't actually have a white coat. The closest to white coat I have is the Magda Butrum beige one that like ties in the waist. But then I got another white one from the same brand. Also like great price for what it is. Okay. That. Very long, very fabulous white double breast coat. Probably not as thick for the mountain, but truly, truly, truly fabulous. What do you guys think? Which one should make the cut? He was at work, otherwise he'd be the one voting. But right now it's you guys. Also, I just noticed that I still have a tag on these trousers that I'm wearing right now. It's the first time I'm wearing them, but I've shown them to you like already more than a month ago. Anyway, we'll sort it out. Now, I got something that I thought would be very cute for styling, just different things. This one's different because it's like very, very, very thick denim and why that is special because for styling if you want to be like really cute you can wear it over a knit because it's thicker right because it's like a shirt but it's like jacket but it's not a jacket and then you can wear like a blazer over it or you can even tuck it into like these are the row trousers that i got like 
a while ago. You can even tuck it in like a pair of trousers, put a nice belt on, and then put a blazer over and have a turtleneck as all poking. This is like a really cute mountain look, look in two seconds with that. And I think this is not like a special piece, but it's a perfect styling and layering piece. So if you have like a good denim jacket that is not too thin, keep in mind it's very important, not stretchy, but it's not too thick like to be a jacket. So it's more like a shirt, shirtette. <laughs> I don't know what's the word. This is like such a good piece for styling you guys. And I think this one was really not expensive if I remember well, like it was a great price. So it's a perfect kind of forever piece. Last straight web piece, I completely blame my friend Xenia. So yes, go on her YouTube channel and blame her and tell her that it's all her fault that I got this because she asked me for this for Christmas and I got it for her. And then she called me on FaceTime to tell me like, hey, your My Theresa package arrived for me. So she's got it. And then I was like, oh my God, I should also have that jacket. Why should she have it and I don't have it? So anyway, that's, you guys saw what Ksenia got me on My Theresa for Christmas in one of the videos. And I, this is what she got, okay? So I'm not spoiling because she's already received it and I love it, I think it's beautiful. I just wanted to try it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it because I have so many Saint Laurent jackets, but I really want to try this one on and I think it's beautiful and it's Ksenia to blame. It's completely her fault. Okay, so last but not the least, I think, I have a pair of shoes from the row that I think are gonna be cute when I wanna wear heels, but not really for more like wintery situations. Just a classic pointy mule that as you can see is kind of um, kitten heel mule and something that I can wear with any kind of pair of trousers. I can wear with my new bag from the row. Have you guys seen my new bag from the row? I feel like I should show it to you now again. I got it like maybe a week ago. It still has this uh, My 3 tag off, which we can safely, well, I didn't really safely remove it because I didn't want to damage the leather or my finger, you know? But yes, just so you can see the bag better. So beautiful, right? Very classic, chic, only tiny, tiny little branding here. And that's what I love about it. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say that concludes my winter must-haves. I'm very happy with the sunglasses, goggles, coats, with a denim jacket and with the footwear as well as the earrings. Does that basically summarize everything that I got? I'm not sure. But what do you think? What was your favorite piece that I got? I think like today's Vlogmas is a bit too chatty. I'm just in a chatty mood. I feel like we're FaceTiming. I'm showing you my stuff. You guys are like hating or loving or judging. We're like, you know, vibing, friending, all of that good stuff. But now I created so much mess. What's the time? Okay, it's 2.30. I have a nail appointment at 4.40. However, what I need to do is now try everything, all of this for you guys to show you how it looks on so we can insert it or we've already inserted it, but you know what I mean? And also tidy all of this up. And then I will feel like I've really accomplished a lot because we already shot the Prada unboxing today for the box that was under the Christmas tree. So go on my Instagram to check out what was in there. And also, or on the TikTok, whatever you prefer. And also Prada is available on my Theresa, by the way, if you wanna know, as well as Miu Miu, one of the only, only websites that actually stock Prada and Miu Miu, which I think is incredible. So that's that, let's get working you guys I'm a busy girl guys i love this gray dress so much i want to stay in it is that okay i actually want to wear it to my nail appointment and to my dentist appointment but i can't not that i can't but you know when you're doing like nails there's so much dust and drilling and stuff so it will get all in and i want to wear it this weekend guys so it's my favorite time of the day which means marchese i need to eat that now and i need to check some stuff online that i need to do before we head out i need to see what's quite important is to see how did our real turn out so let's see how that is working i love this corner of my house at this time of the day because it's 3 30 now because it's like quite nice light let's see where we are so let me just show you the best toast in town why is this so good nobody really understands there is a secret for sure to it but one of the things is they cut all the corners of the toast so it's just the middle part of the toast i'm sorry this is so good it's obviously not the healthiest choice in the world but it's not the unhealthiest either it is literally hundred out of 10 right so good mm, i love it insane it should be legal i think because otherwise it's just too good well i'm gonna eat now i'm gonna change later because obviously i'm not gonna go like this to the nail appointment but i'm still gonna wear something cozy i want to try my 
my earphones because usually when I'm at a nail appointment, I watch like YouTube and other stuff. Talking about YouTube, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you like it, if you've been following Vlogmas, if you enjoy it. Subscribing is for free. You can unsubscribe anytime. There is no commitment to it. It's just really encouraging for me to see because it's kind of a sign that you guys are enjoying the videos, if that makes sense. Anyway, that's it now. God was very comfy, still wearing the same Karen Millen top, cashmere sweats, my Uggs, ultra mini with platform, bag, and my favorite totem coat. I will link it below. I love it so much. It's literally what I wear throughout winter. I need house keys and we need to run because you guys know I cannot be late. It gives me so much anxiety. Okay, guys, we are at the nail place, which we can probably hear choosing now what I want to do. I actually wanted to do something a little bit more Christmassy, but honestly, I am not brave enough. Okay, I need to pick up a phone. I have a very important phone call, so I'll update you in a second. Okay, I'm back. So I was saying, I really wanted to do like maybe a touch of burgundy or something like that, but honestly, it's just not, I'm not sure that's quite me. So what should we do? What do you guys recommend? I should have asked you this before, shouldn't I? We're by the way, administering of nails. It's literally the only place in Milan that I would go to get my nails done because they do the most incredible job. They're so pedantic when it comes to cuticles. They have so many options and they're so good when it comes to nail art. So if you're ever around, Ministry of Nails is the place to go. Guys, okay, I'm walking quickly home. A few little updates for you. Filippo called me while I was getting my nails done. He was like, baby, I asked you to do one thing for me, which was, so we had our architects today, they came to visit us, right? I don't know if I vlogged that. And he asked me to give them a gift, which I haven't managed to do because I completely forgot, okay? First thing. Then he called me to say, can you please take the ragu out of the freezer? No, he said fridge. I said, what do you mean you mean freezer? He said, yes, so you can eat it later. And I said, ah, no problem of course forgot to do it so he got home and he was like i said like literally i'm so sorry i cannot believe that i completely forgot i feel like there's so much going on in my mind and on top of that i feel like you know when you're just like a bit all over the place trying to kind of keep everything in mind and there's so much noise and also i'm talking to the camera all the time so even when i'm trying to focus on everything i need to do i don't manage on top of that i'm still so sore in my gum and my lips and i even cracked my lip open from that thing that keeps your mouth open at the dentist which is not pleasant at all so that hurts me also when i'm eating and drinking and that's also like making me feel not very present in the moment you know when you're like in discomfort kind of but i don't know why i'm like that usually no matter how in discomfort i am no matter what's going on usually i'm very present in the moment or at least dress cute i love this totem coat it's literally one of the best coats that i have now we're walking we're gonna pass next to domo and i think at night is quite pretty i should you. This video is gonna be very long, so I think I'm gonna stop vlogging soon. And also, it's quite late, it's like 7 30 or so. Quite late because I want to go to bed very early tonight. Also, I need to pack, and I don't think you guys want to watch me pack again. Here's a bit of Milan for you, guys. Let me give you a Christmassy vibe. Look at this, it's so cute. And there's some Christmas music playing as well in the square, from what I can hear. On one night. Usually during the day, it's like full of people here on this plateau. But obviously, it's cold now as well, but this is nothing comparing to how cold it will be tomorrow. So, look at this square. I genuinely think it's one of the most beautiful squares that I've ever seen in my life. And also, I love seeing it always with a fresh pair of eyes. As someone who's like visiting Italy, I do know why they call it Il Bel Paese because, I mean, it is, I think, one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Look at this. It's gorgeous. It feels so magical. Wow. Well, here's a bit of me and Duomo. Like I said, I'm heading home now. And then we need to pack for tomorrow because tomorrow morning I want to wake up, get rid of this thing, the protective thing out of my mouth so that we can finally head to the mountains. So tomorrow mor morning dentist. And in tomorrow's video, I've decided finally and officially that I will reveal my vintage romance bag that I got because I want to wear it in the mountains. I hope at least. Giving you more of Milan at night. I don't think you can to see it much here and also there's a christmas market as well let's see how's the christmas market i love it already I actually saw tiktok recently raising all different christmas markets so i'm like a perfect target audience for all of these little things oh when there's food i'm in <gasps> guys what is this oh my god excuse me is this poppy okay i think i'm obsessed i found my perfect 
Oh my god, this is insane. Okay, so tomorrow I'm gonna get some of this for the road. Wow, it's really beautiful. I can smell truffle. I'm sorry, where is it? I smell truffle, but I don't know where. Now is the season of truffle in Alba region. Here, right? Now, but targa, okay. Frutti di cioccolato, pan pepato. Is that lepuchen? Kind of. Looks good. Wow, I would buy everything, guys. Look at this Chanel advert. All in like Rinascente. It's pretty. My, I'm getting so distracted. I'll never make it anywhere on time. I was saying it's pretty late in the night, and I think I'm gonna stop this vlog here because. I feel like it's gonna be a mammoth of a vlog and because I really need to pack and I could like talk for like 40 more minutes just packing I need to pack and then I need to have one hour of not talking which is great because Filippo's tonight at aperitivo with his girls I say his girls because it's um, his friends who I love so much his office colleagues and um, I just need like one hour of not talking to anybody because I feel like I'm non-stop talking. I meant to call my mother though. Um, so yeah, that's that. Have a good night, guys, or good morning, or good day, or whatever you are having. Have a great one.